Hey guys, this is Eddie from Long Island Boaters Club, and this is another edition of On Board. Well, today I'm on my boat, and we're going to be pulling my boat out of the water for the season. It's the end of the season, a part that we all hate. Now, of course, it's a beautiful day, as you can see how calm the bay is. Now, I'm going to be bringing this to Tanner Park, and that, that's where we're going to be pulling the boat out. We're going to meet Tom. He's going to be taking it over to my house. So there's a couple of things I like to take care of before I bring the boat over there. i got to take my canvases down, make sure I have all of my lines in the boat, make sure my plug wire is out, and all my bumpers are on the boat. So we're going to do that, so come with me, and let's start doing that. Now the reason why I'm taking down my canvases, even though I'm going to probably put them back up at my house, is I want to have them down for the ride over on land, not even on boat, to make sure, because the boat's high, if he hits anything, he doesn't rip the canvases. So that's why I'm taking them right, down. I'm almost done wrapping up all the canvases, I'm just going to put the boot on here. Now when I get in for the season, after I winterize everything, I usually open up the canvases, wash them all off, and then I'll let them dry out and then store them for the winter inside all the canvases, this one and all the other ones as well. Before I shouldn't wrap the boat or just cover the boat, wrap it up for the winter. So, now my next thing I have to do is I'm going to have to put the antennas down. i got to put the light down. Hey guys, I'm at the end of my canal and I wanted everybody to see what a beautiful day it is because I'm taking my boat out. Look at this, you couldn't ask for a perfect day on the bay. It's like glass, it's high tide, it's gorgeous. And of course, my boat's coming out of the water. <laughs> this is every year when you take your boat out of the water. Every year you take your boat out of the water, it's like this. So I'm going to go to the dock and I'm going to cry the whole way, taking my boat out of the water. <laughs> so let's take a ride. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking out the drain plug before we transport it. So if there's any water in the bilge, we'll get that out. Make it a little lighter for Tommy. But like he said, 2,700 pounds, another six pound, uh, 60 pounds isn't going to make a difference. But we'll get it all out. And this is why you need to have a good guy to bring your boat back. Because if you can be on the phone and back this boat up, you're incredible. got all the blocks and we're going to use three wet blocks. These are stronger to hold the weight of this boat. The two wet will crack. Those are those over there. It's my mistake that I got last time. But this time we got the three wet and Tom is going to set it all up so the boat will stay here for the season and he'll come back and it'll be the same way when he picks it up and put it back in the water.
Um, that won't hit. Okay guys, we just got my boat in the yard. It's all up on blocks as you can see. Tommy brought it in. We got that all on tape so you guys can check out how we did that. You'll see this box on the back, three sets, and one in the front. This will hold the boat for the winter. So now the next step for me, I'm going to power wash the boat. Now, I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to let this stuff dry up a little bit. It seems to be easier to come off when I wait a little bit, another day. So tomorrow I'm going to power wash it, and then I'm going to get ready to winterize it, and I'll be going over that with you. All right, this is another edition of On Board. For more videos, check out LongIslandBoatersClub.com. You're on board. Catch you next time.